Hi, I'm Libby Gibson, town manager. Welcome to what's going on in town government. We have been on something of a hiatus. Yes, we have. Gino is finally back today. Gino, welcome back. Three months, Libby. Three months he's been gone. Yeah. Now, what you've been all over the world, Finished basically. Finished the documentary, which people are watching right now, about Brian in the Philippines. I don't know if you've seen it, but Not it's... Not yet. Okay, it's on. And then I did another shoot in Myanmar, in uh, Burma, which was once Burma in the Mandalay Bagan area mm -hmm. where the it's just amazing just amazing. so when you got back yesterday <clears throat> well a few days ago to the United States yes. after being out of the country for three months what was your first reaction was it different was it noticeably different America land of the free home of the scared oh home of the scared not I what mean, about the brave Libby, Libby not well yeah they're brave but they need to be braver to deal with this fear factor. I mean, everywhere you look, yeah. security, IRS, brake pads, drugs, everything in the media is scaring us to do, to, to affect our behavior so corporations can make money. It seems that way. Mm. I didn't think about any of that while I was away. Wow. And now I'm That's just a, getting, being bombarded by things that people are telling me to mm -hmm. do so I don't have this problem or I, I, you know, I don't get robbed, or yeah. you know, my taxes are, or my security. I, I mean, it's just, it's insane. Wow, all right. That's so it, you, that's it. So you're gonna do some <laughs> shows about that. Well, we'll right? have, I, I'm not gonna leave that, what I've learned. I mean, it's just, I'm gonna try to help. You're gonna I'm put it out there. I'm not gonna allow it to affect me as yeah. much. Okay, good. We'll hear more about that later, because remember, this is. This is a show. serious show. It's my show. And it is yours. Uh, okay. So at the Selectman's meeting last night, it was a medium-sized meeting. We talked a bit, we have a, our usual an announcement that we've been talking about. I don't even know what I do with my agenda, but I'll try to remember it. Our usual announcement is about the water main replacement project, which is taking place in the Prospect Street area. As someone in the office said this morning when I was complaining about it, it's a new surprise every day. And it is about where they're gonna be working. So look at it that way and just try to be patient. Okay. So we talked a bit about that. That's gonna be going on until May, probably, unless they somehow finish up early. But the weather has not been overly cooperative. So it's, you know, we just have to be patient with it because it's a necessary project. Uh, the board approved a new liquor license, another new liquor license for the business at 41 Main Street. I don't know how many liquor license changes there have been there, but quite a few. And so hopefully this one will stick. Is this by Todd Arnold's? Yes, mm -hmm. 41 Main Street. And it's going to be called 02554 Market. Ooh. I think they're going to have some, looks like they're going to have some takeout breakfast stuff and lunch and dinner. So we'll see how that goes. Ooh. We gave an update to the board about our downtown sidewalk improvement project, which is a project meant overall, it's going to have phases, to improve pedestrian access to and from down, within downtown and to and from Mid Island. And the first sort of phase is going to be focused on access to and from the ferry terminals and our first phase of that part is going to be improving straight wharf and this pretty much the sidewalk that leads from easy street down to the dock area so we talked about the timeline and we talked about what that's going to look like and a few other things so we what could what, can you give us some well idea for example we want to resurface the sidewalk with all brick or mostly brick there is a section of that sidewalk that is slate it's it's been there a long time it's cracked it's out of place it's a mess maybe massive is too strong of a word it's a major tripping hazard it's not pedestrian friendly at all we want to either try to relay that or brick it so you know in your travels take a look at it and see what you think about the bricking part because that might be you know it hasn't been bricked like that for a while so people might have a bit of a freak out about it but the you know it's got to be more even than it where? is now where? this is on straight wharf in front of the macy warehouse there's oh, this oh, oh, slate yes. section sure. yep. and, and we you said the tying into the mid island uh, what well that's a different phase but for example the sidewalk on washington street from about maine out to the town parking lot and then past there pleasant street from well pleasant street from maine all the way out to the rotary basically or stop Ooh. and shop anyway ultimately that all needs to be really really improved it's not good right now 
how would how are we going to make it put a sidewalk if that's what you're thinking? Yep. On that area that doesn't go Atlantic. What is that? Pleasant, still Pleasant Street. Pleasant. That's going to be difficult, and there 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 is a an a capital item in, for fiscal 19, not for this year, but for the next fiscal year, for design work for a sidewalk there. If these things were easy, they would be done by now. That's going to require, in all likelihood, some takings. It might require tree removal and or relocation. You look at the section from Five Corners to Williams Lane or beyond, that is a difficult section. It's not that wide of a right-of-way, and some parts of the right-of-way have gates, fences, maybe fire hydrants, poles for sure, gardens, driveways um, on the other side. There's a, a nice section that's got nice, beautiful trees over, and um, it's a low, goes down yes. into a yard area. That's a that, beautiful It's property. a beautiful size. So I don't, yeah. you know, we don't want to disturb it necessarily, but it's going to be really difficult to get a sidewalk in there with those constraints. But it's a good idea, though. Oh, yeah, it definitely. When we have, it's, I mean, that's a very, very difficult walking section there. It's walking just, and biking, though. Walking well, and biking. biking can be worked The biking's not as bad as yeah. the walking. Right. Um, but anyway, so that that's going to be a phase we're probably going to start looking at next year. But this phase is focused on downtown. We also had an update from Natural Resources about an oyster restoration project that they are working on, and there's a whole report online about it. And we talked a bit about town meeting. This Saturday, April 1st, town meeting starts at 9 o'clock at the Nantucket High School. Please attend. There's, um, you know, this is your opportunity as a voter to be heard on how we're going to uh, do Big what issue. we're going to do. Big Can issues. The truck, budget. Truck on well, of course, there's the island home. Yeah. And that is, as we, I think we know, somewhat controversial. And um, we've done a lot of work on this project and, and I think some of the controversy has to do with the siting of it and there's I think a, a good number of people who don't think the town has done enough to figure out how to construct a new facility at the current site. In fact we've done a lot of evaluation of that and the site is simply not big enough to construct a new facility and operate the current facility concurrently. Now, can it, could it be done? Of course, anything is possible. Well, not anything, but a lot of things are possible. However, you get into a lot of complication by doing that, which incl includes cost, Department of Public Health requirements, the relocation of people, the disruption to staff and residents, and many other things, and in addition, to this, there's there are some issues about sea level rise and storm surge and things of that nature. So the, it, it's it is a complicated site, and the site that the town is proposing is has the least complication, the least disruption to residents. It's the least cost, both operationally and and construction wise. And we feel it's a better site. So we do we need to do some additional work with neighbors and um, you know, users of the island home, of course. And that will certainly come into play. It's not designed yet. We would certainly bring people in for input on that, including neighbors. And it's, it's, it's a difficult decision, but it's I think we think it's the best. Saturday? This decision it will, will be made? It will be made one way or the other, I think, on Saturday. And it's a majority vote? It's a two-thirds vote for the appropriation. Oh, two-thirds to move it. Two-thirds to come up with the funding to build a new facility. Oh. So there's Article 14, which is an appropriation of $30 million to build a new facility. There's Article 15, which is an appropriation of $2.5 million to purchase property off Maya Comet Road. I probably should have said what the alternate site was. Off Maya Comet Road, it would be purchased from a private property owner. It's adjacent to the Sherburn Commons site. And the idea is that the town would purchase the property and construct the facility both on that site and on town-owned land right next to Sherburn Commons that is not currently being used by Sherburn Commons. And there is a provision in the Sherburn Commons lease that the town has with Sherburn Commons that would allow for something like that. There's also a zoning article and a sewer district amendment article to get 
the private property and the um, additional, to, to get the private property into the sewer district. And if it doesn't pass, what happens to the site? Would they rebuild there? Would that mean that they That does not there? mean that. It does not. I think that means that we either bring it, do some more public outreach to try to get people around to understanding why we think the My Comet Road is the is the least complicated site. And we would potentially bring that back at a special town meeting in the fall or maybe even an annual town meeting in 2018. But I think the part of the issue is we don't want to wait too long because we are going to start getting state the state is going to start coming down on us more and more because there are a lot of compliance issues at the current site, current facility that are not that are that are out of compliance. And what, we what can't if, operate what if the people that way too much longer. That they want to rebuild and they want to leave it there. How how do how do we know what's going to inevitably happen and when will we know that? Well, I don't know that we're going to know. Okay. If the article fails at the town meeting and or at the election, because the Article 14 is subject to a question on the ballot on April 11th. If, if one or the other fails, then we're pretty much sunk with the appropriation to build a new facility. Um, but again, that does not then, mean- Then we start the ball rolling for renovation of this one. I don't think the selectmen are gonna go down that road. I don't think they are prepared to, the, can, to look oh, at really? constructing we'll a new facility. The the, I think we for would, at least for now, probably proceed with our short-term capital plan to improve what we can at the current site. I see. Um, but it's just then there may be some more difficult discussions about yeah, there will be, how because, about you know, what the future is going to hold. There's a lot of people that want it to stay and they want to rebuild there. There are. So, and they they just I think I think, I think maybe we need to have even more detailed discussions if that's possible than what we've already had to discuss that current site. It's it's I mean you just look at a map it's just not big enough now part of the issue is that the town is looking at a new operational model it's operated right now in an institutional manner it's very hospital like in if you were building a new nursing home now you probably wouldn't build a model like that the reimbursements are more geared toward home like models which is the model we're looking at and we haven't you know it we've we've been exploring a model called the small house model, but it, you know, we're not we're not totally married to that. But we're what I think we are married to is the more home like atmosphere that a model like the small house model would provide, where residents have private rooms, they are in more of a setting where they're not on the schedule of the staff, they're on their own schedule. Family members can come and go, which they do now. But it's more, uh, it, um, it's easier for the staff and the residents to move about. Right now, we have long hallways. There's, you know, a lot of things in the in the current facility that just aren't conducive to the home-like atmosphere. Right, right. And no that matter what, does it's take going to change at some point. Yes, and and that does take additional space. Okay. So it's not it's not easy. Right. But what I think we're looking at is improving the quality of care. Overall, uh, having a model that is overall less expensive and less complicated. Okay. So anyway, we'll I guess we'll see how it all pans out, and then we'll regroup if need be from there, or proceed with more input as we go along, which would happen anyway. So that's town meeting. Breakfast and lunch will be available for sale, Ooh. And I think we will go, you know, the plan is to go till five and hopefully wrap up. I think if we have, you know, two or three more articles at five o'clock, we'll continue to finish. If we have 12 more, we might not, but we'll, we'll have to make that determination when we get there. Next week at the Board of Selectmen's meeting, again, I, my agenda is somewhere over there. We have, generally it's a sort of a light meeting before the election, which is on April 11th, the following week. And I think we have a liquor license matter, some other general business items, and probably some kind of a town meeting sort of wrap up. And um, well, we got the big election coming up too. So. Right. So we we it's it's going to be a fairly light meeting next week. This next week, and then the week yeah. after will be the big one. 
Yeah. Well, okay. the week, yeah. So Tuesday will be the election, Tuesday the 11th, and then there will be a selectman's meeting on the 12th. We have a swearing-in ceremony that happens on the 12th, the morning of the 12th. I think it's at 9 or 10. I, I'll have to tell you next week. I forget what time so it's So we're going to lose which two selectmen are? Uh, Rick Atherton and Bobby DaCosta are going off. They did not choose to run for re-election, and we've got however many of the candidates. Yeah. There are six? Yeah. Is it six? I don't know. I forget. Um, so mm -hmm. there we have it. What else, Chino? You, I can't even ask you, if her, if you what you're hearing because you haven't been here. That's true. But we'll hear. We, you will hear a lot more. As soon we'll as hear I, a lot uh, more. Start looking around a little more. Well, also, the weather's not supposed to be very great on Saturday, I don't think. So what better thing would you have to do except go to town meeting? Exactly. You might Everybody as well just go. go. To town meeting. Exactly. Just go. Yep. Just go. All right. Thank you very much. Glad to be back. See you next time.